Okay, so you have brought these great summer DIY projects yes, for us. Yes, because there's so much fun, yes. easy stuff you can do. And Definitely. like, okay, so let's do this together. These are cloth okay. placemats, super fun and crisp, clean white for the spring, which mm -hmm. is just lovely. Exactly. And these are just lemons. So just great. Just as cheap as can be, and these are stamp pads, and you can do any color you want. Mm -hmm. We, you know, I chose citrus colors yeah. here, because that just seems apropos. Of course. And you can even do whatever design you want. So you don't want to get too much ink, okay. but press it down on there, and then just pick a spot. Go crazy. Yeah, you can do a pattern if you want. Oh, fun. Oh, look, your tint came out so good. That's so cute, so did you Ooh, let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> And then when you're doing like a DIY project, do you tend to like look on Pinterest or social media to kind of get ideas or are you just... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's so neat nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, you can find so much information on all that. When mm -hmm. we were first doing Trading Spaces, we didn't have any of that. Right. And now it's just, there's such a plethora of, mm -hmm. of everything and all, it's easier to buy things too. Sure. Which I think it's really important. I love when our designers on Trading Spaces can still push themselves mm -hmm. to really create. But here's, awesome. here's, a, here's a finished one. Here's a finished one. finished one. Got ready for so you. This is yeah. good for like, Table, uh, like placemats, you said, and tablecloths. If you wanted yeah, to, yeah, you could crazy. do. Oh my gosh, if you had the, yeah. if you had the time and the patience oh, to God, do it. Yeah. Whole, oh my god, runner would be mm -hmm. so, so cute. cute. Mm -hmm. Or even like you could even do little coasters. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you did a good job. Thank Look you. at you, you're Thanks. a pro. Oh, well, we haven't gotten to this one yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really easy too. Okay, so okay. first of all, to start the design of this mm -hmm. board, I use Scotch Blue Painters Tape. We all use it. We yeah. use it on the set. It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's great. And prep is very important. Everyone wants to skip that so step. True. Everybody prep thinks they can so freehand, but yep. you can't. Lay down the tape. Exactly. Lay down the tape. So go ahead, Pete. Pete. Okay. Have a have a have a blast. Go crazy. Yeah. Now, when you're doing this here, this is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to go in. Oh. You want to go over the tape and in because if you go this way. You, there's a chance It'll the tape will go under. Now, nice. if, if you need to okay. lay the tape down correctly, right. that's also really important. Mm -hmm. You want to lay it down, make sure that it's really flat, take your time, don't stretch it, Got all it. those things. Another really important thing is to let it sit for a moment before you paint, which this has. Mm -hmm. And then the other really great thing is to let the paint dry. Nice. Oh, I think I should yeah, and then this is this like is so cute. No, no, yeah. no, you can do whatever <laughs> you want. I can't make want. it look like that. But I did make this for you. <laughs> Thank you. Which is really fun. And I'm going to let- perfect for our set. I know. Well, you know, you could even, another really great thing you could do is put handles on it and it could be a tray. Oh, so cute. Which is super fun. That's so great. And the tape helps you do all the different shapes Designs. that you want. Mm -hmm. And so then you want to pull at a 45 degree angle. Oh. Whether it's this platinum or even the regular okay. painter's tape that we all use, you know. Got it. It really helped, but this one will come off in one piece and not do that split on you, yeah. the splintering that everybody oh, hates. Oh, right, right, right. Doesn't that feel cool? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> That's my favorite one to use. There we go. So cool. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, oh, my this will actually that. look really good. Okay, I expect this that to be permanently here when I come back. I plan. I, I love that. Thank <laughs> this you. It's actually really adorable. It is. So cute. All right. So let's move on to our last project. Yeah, this one's really yeah. fun too. And um, this one, you don't even have to paint. You just use okay. paint or chips. I love that. Uh, paint strips. These are so great. And we already stuck some down okay. with some double sided tape on the back. Nice. As you can see. Very cool. And you would just do the same. With these, and you can put them in any order you want. Nice. Uh, you could even do multicolored if you wanted to, although right. it might be hard to read because mm -hmm. what we're doing is creating a dry erase board calendar. calendar. Oh, this is so, so if you just get cute. a floating frame, that's great. And you tape them onto the back, mm -hmm. and then this can be your calendar every month. Sure. So you could have this even at your desk or. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun. It I just think fun. it's so it's pretty. So and it, it is pretty and it just, colorful. Yeah, it just lightens your day. It does. Anything you can do to make the mundane more exciting is a great tip. I love that. Right? Yes. Paige, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you it was so, so much. nice meeting you. It was and nice thank to you for bringing too. along these summer DIY crafts. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, you want to see more fun stuff? Well then make sure to subscribe right here for the latest news, interviews, and games with all of your favorite celebrities. Make sure to pick up the latest issue of Us Weekly on Newsstands now and head on over to usmagazine.com.